Do I think it will survive at least another couple of hundred years? I'd be very surprised if it did not. It might not. You can absolutely see a scenario where civilization starts to break. If um, climate change is really left unchecked and we see the worst effects, you could see a fragmentation of the global markets, you could see widespread revulsion at private ownership of capital and a kind of demand for governments to step in. But right now that seems unlikely. I mean, look at global levels of trust in governments. An economics, an economic discipline that encourages individualism, an economic framework that does that is not necessarily going to be very helpful. But that, I don't think that necessarily means that global capitalism itself will necessarily collapse. I think it just means it definitely needs, needs to evolve. And if it can evolve, then that would be, then that can, that will, that will move. And I think uh, the means of evolution will be through us, you know, as economists and others in other disciplines coming together to think, what can we do next? How do we evolve? How do we understand this crisis? How do we use the information that we got from this crisis to be able to update our thinking and our models. I don't think uh, the global capitalism is what we used to know in the 19th century. So it has already not survived in that form and it has evolved in a different uh, uh, form. For the future, um, unless we find a system which is equally flexible, um, able to adapt and adjust, and then that proves quite good in uh, promoting and supporting the development of many individuals and countries which has happened actually in our system then i don't i think uh, it would be difficult to find a, a replacement uh, or at least you know something then can continue to adapt so is capitalism is morphing day by day let me uh, quote uh, a famous scientist charles darwin yeah, he said that it is not the strongest of the species that survive, nor the most intelligence that survive. It is the one that it is most adaptable to change. This is also very similar to the capitalism, to the global capitalism. History shows that capitalism has also experienced you know, evolution and there were various corrections to the capitalism. For the time being, I think the combination of a democratic system with markets uh, based on competition with the rule of law, taking care of those in society who are able to care for themselves. I think this combination is for me the best uh, system I can think of. But such a system is always challenged uh, by shocks. Take the pandemic, which has hit uh, the poorer part of the society uh, mostly, but independent of uh, the economic and political system. Capitalism is not the only system, we can definitely change it. I think the pandemic has uh, really exacerbated some of the contradictions that are inherent to capitalism. And it would be nice to start addressing these contradictions and then have a, a serious discussion with all the cards on the table about what we're going to do next. <laughs> we're going to destroy the planet. We're going to live with inequality if people not having um, anything to eat uh, with kids, uh, with children uh, dying of malnutrition. Is that how we want to carry on? <laughs> I, I don't think that's the way. And the real longer term, as this question indicates, is uh, the risk of collapse of civilization. If we're looking at civilization, uh, 250 years out is not far. And yet we don't look at the path of where the current direction of climate change might be 150, 250 years out. Uh, if it's as bad as we put it 50 years out, it's going to be far worse at that point. So 
I think the key thing is to maintain a, a very, very long-term perspective to understand what the structure we have now in terms of short-term orientation and lack of robustness can mean over that length of time. I'm wondering whether this is a question about you know, what we call today globalization. You know, globalization is a phenomenon that, uh, you know, again, I think is, 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 is pretty old. There are all kinds of things that are going to move in a new way. Um, we're also thinking about applying artificial intelligence, AI, in, in, in uh, many transformative ways. So you know, this, this, this is going to be a quite different society. It's going to feel very different, but it's still going to operate on the principles of exchange over long distances, storing up elements of value, exchanging them. Uh, so you know, I think both capitalism and globalization are here to stay, uh, but they're going to be transformed and uh, they're going to work in, in really qu quite radically new ways. And I do think, you know, and particularly coming out of COVID, you know, the great financial crisis, now COVID-19, there's no avoiding the question of what the purpose of the economy is. And I think that as that question gets addressed and it's, there's going to be some answer around the well-being of people in the economy, um, then I think what's going to happen is the existing it's called the capitalist doctrine will be nuanced. So how do, how do we use the market system? How do we use capital? How do we use finance in a way that helps us achieve that, that purpose? Global capitalism is under serious danger again. But this time, not from the usual suspect. The issue today is not about inflationary pressures, but it's under threat from things like externalities, market failures, you know, all of this triggered by the inadequate attention given to social, political, and environmental issues. So in order to avert a major uh, catastrophe, you know, in order to, to uh, avoid a total breakdown of the political and economic system, existing models and frameworks are not adequate. And economic science, economic engineering, and other complementary disciplines, you know, psychology, philosophy, political science, engineering, you know, finance, all of these disciplines have come to agree on, you know, what are the best practices and how do we rethink uh, the next economy? I am trained in South America. Neoclassical or analytical economics, basically, so uh, very good. I'm not very good at uh, forecasting. Uh, I, I cannot make much fortune by investing in stock market well, even though I am interested in mechanics. So.